Okay. Hello again. Today, finally, my PCB has arrived. This is the power supply board that I created, custom made uh, for my LA kit. I order from GL PCB. It's not a sponsored video, but yeah, I think they are offering a quite good uh, PCB manufacturing uh, quality, which I have ordered quite a lot from them, simply because I like the quality. And this one I order quite special because actually this one has two millimeter thickness, very thick. Normally the PCB only 1.4 or 1.7 millimeters. This one is two millimeters and also quite long. You can see here is about 30 centimeters long. So a huge PCB for sure. And the wide about 9.5 centimeters. Okay, and the other interesting thing is this one has two ounce of copper and then the gold plated is two micron. So this is really solid piece of PCB. I order some of them. Actually, the quantity is just to to make sure the price is reasonable enough. Some of my friends actually kind of help to purchase these, these things as well, like a group buy because some of them are using the same allocate so they would like to do some upgrade as well so thank you for sharing the purchase so it can help me to kind of reduce my cost but I still have a few right which is probably I will sell it some later or maybe use for other project so basically here you can see we have a three uh, portion this one is the high voltage another high voltage this is for filament and the interesting thing is I'm using a switch here to bypass the PTC and I also prepare enough space to cover the stealth diode or any diodes upgrade I feel that the standard allocate the bridge rectifier is so so right it is it is not bad but I feel like I could use some improvement by upgrading those rectifiers and I also prepare some of my stealth diodes actually the the peak inverse voltage is kind of a bit low 600 volts so by default it should be 1000 volts so I prepare to run them in series in order to double the PIV and what else the socket itself should be the same with the electric original one but of course you can solder directly from the transformers and all the size here actually i make them fit with my plan example in here i plan to use my mundov and i can simply put it there just like that perfectly fit let me try to increase the iso a bit here so perfectly fit for mundov and then what else? Uh, the high voltage, I plan to use the Kaisei in here. And the Kaisei, actually, I plan to run a Super E. You know, this is a non-polar Kaisei capacitor. It is simply non-polar, no polarity. But still, they have inner and outer foil. You can see here, they have some kind of a negative remark here and here right so the idea is when you want to run super e you need to combine those in reverse direction example if here i'm putting the negative one on the bottom and then the other one i need to put the negative one actually on the top so it will be putting that way right so the idea is it will cancel the inductance between these two capacitors that's what we call a super e known from blackgate okay 
So that will be the Kaisei portion and here will be the diodes. One thing really special, you can simply put the diodes there. And yeah, you can just keep continue putting there, right? And, and, and you can populate the board accordingly. You should be able to use a lot of diodes, right? Because the, the, the space is definitely more than enough for you to use whatever diodes you like. And the other thing, I have also prepared the socket here for this switch. I believe it's a daily well switch. It's quite good. It's not, a, not expensive, but you can simply put this, this kind of switch inside. Right, you just put it there like that. So you can decide to bypass the, uh, the, the, the PTC here, right? Anytime you want. As simple as that right so yeah it's quite easy you can bypass your PTC I think a PTC is good right because uh, it will help to ramp up the things much slower but at some situation once the things are settled down you might want to decide to bypass or short the PTC so the voltage will go direct so you have less resistance which is should be good but anyway you, you can use the cable jumper to to maybe to put the switch out there to simplify your your process right because you might not be able to op op to open the the, the, the chassis and and and, and, and shot the ptc every time so you can simply put some jumper wire to the to the chassis on the back and then you can put a switch to to manually trigger the switch whenever you like so yeah basically this is it this is the PCB so I think I should be able to to complete the the component setting for this PCB between like uh, next two or three hours then we should meet again with the ready or complete of the power supply design we should be able to go back in the next few hours but maybe i will i will save the, the video for next week so it should not be that difficult to populate this board and put all the components and yeah this should be like the final set of the uh, power supply pcb it's a dual uh, layer pcb the the back also has a lot of trays it's quite wide uh, trace here I think about three I think four millimeters here so should be enough current for all the the requirement needed for this uh, circuit so that's it for today so hope you like it don't forget to like and subscribe and see you again next week bye bye